guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to what I like to call the true, true ending of the series Ruby Starlight, or the Ruby Starlight movie, just like, of course, last week with the recap episode, our movie-esque. Um, of course, this is gonna be in parts, uh, the sinking will be down at the bottom, da 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 so that you're able to sink my video with the show with the movie and then pause when i have to pause and da, 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 and so on and so forth but honestly i'm really excited from what i was told um at the end of the movie for the recap that last little bit where we saw the girls like quote unquote dead that was all brand new i thought that was old I, I, like but at the same time like in my mind when i was thinking about it i was like this kind of feels new to me um, it just makes me wonder, like, is that how it's going to end for these girls when we get to this last movie and we see how this series technically really ends? Is it going to get, like, a conclusive ending and such? Will the other girls from the game be referenced in this show? Um, because something tells me, like, after this project was done, the, the show and everything kind of wrapped, but the game is still popular because even though I haven't played the game in, like, a good couple of years, um, from what I have been told from, like, friends who play it and then seeing videos of YouTubers still playing it, like, that is just still going strong. So, it makes me kind of wonder, like, will we ever see, like, a season two, season three, or maybe even an OVA episode with these girls? Because, you know, really watching the movie last week made me genuinely miss how much I miss these girls and seeing them on screen from week to week and then also generally made me miss the new girls that we got to meet in the game because I did have a couple of favorites um I think I don't remember her name I don't remember what school she went to I know her weapon was a bow it was a crossbow and she had pink hair it was to the side it was very like dolled up um her goddess outfit and the goddess card was like the card to have in both JP and English because of the fact is they said that that card was powerful as hell. And I actually got that card in the free pool. So, you know, your girl was lucky and such. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stop right now. And then after that, you know, we'll go ahead and continue on. But yes, you know, enjoy the video and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now. All right. Part one in... Three, two, one, go. It's too far. Oh, a tomato. Okay. Well, damn, okay. We, we starting like that. Cotton, where are you? Still, oh my God, girl. Is only for one. We in the middle of the day. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Can finally be together. Oh, the stage is crumbling. Oh.
I am remade. And of course, of course, yeah, she's standing there by herself. Woo, God. It's pretty. Zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Okay, so now the question is, what the heck happened? Because this moment right here feels like a prequel moment to what the fuck we're going to see that led up to this in this movie. Oh, it looks like chain tags. Yeah. Well, damn. I have questions, bro. This is, we're only four minutes in. What the fuck is going on? Holy shit. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, the end of the series, they were happy. So what happened? Yeah, because they're all seniors, right? So, yeah, they'll be graduating. Oh, she looks so beautiful, baby. She kind of looks like Thumbelina. Like, hella Thumbelina vibes. That wouldn't surprise me, because I'm guessing one of the cards in the game is Thumbelina. <gasps> baby! <laughs> Yukina. <laughs> if we don't hear these two, my best girls do a duo together in this movie, I'm gonna be pissed.
you know, I would, you would think one of them, and it could be Cotton, where, you know, she comes and it's like, hey, what do you want to do? And she still probably doesn't know. Feel like that. Feels oof. Oh. What, we're skipping cutting? <laughs> so... She's going to go out and look for her girlfriend, of course. Going to London for my girlfriend. Cat and your babies. Oh. Yeah, you got it. Cotton will be your best friend. No. Oh!
brain. Very surprising. That just tells you that, like, both Hikari and Karin, they're from two different worlds. I mean, you know, when you look at Karin, Karin is the traditional kid. While when you look at someone as Hikari, you know, at freaking five years old, already wanting to do plays and, you know, a vast mind that she has. Not many kids almost, like, really want to know what the heck they want to do. Plus, one is shy and the other one's more outgoing. <laughs> oh, there's this slide! Oh! Mm, baby. Mm. And they never talk after that. Mm. Oh. oh. Damn, I thought they would both be looking back at each other. That would have been so cute. Poor baby, she is so off beat. <laughs> there you go. That's how it started, girlfriends! And they're gonna go and play together every single day. Yeah, there we go! Oh, and they share and lunch with each other at the same. That's a date. Like, oh, that's so cute!
She has that letter in the recent, like, because that was in the, I think so, yeah. So, of course, because she kept that near and dear to her heart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Futaba? Secretly, I think they all have been waiting for that. Sleep. Yeah, he sleep. <laughs> Baby. Is that supposed to be Steve Jobs?
Damn. Okay, um, hold up. Did, did she just, that, that just happened. That just happened. She ain't imagine that, we ain't imagine that, that just happened. Did they all get that though? That's the question. Like you thought this was a normal train ride? Uh uh. But oh, damn, that got changed quick. I mean, of course, it would be Nana at the forefront because, mm. We're only at like 25 minutes into this. Nana, what the hell? And of course, she would feel even more like this because of the fact is they're graduating and they're all going to be going their separate ways. Where's Connie? Because everybody, everyone else is there. She's on the other train. Okay, never mind then. Damn. Then if it's not an audition, what is it? This girl over here just knocking them out. She, oh my god, damn, even your baby is you. Ah! Of course, there's two, my best girls, of course. Now, see, is this what Hikari chan was talking about, like the death of stage girls?
Mm. And slow. Okay, Jesus Christ! But Nana, that's what she meant. Oh, oh shit! It's coming all together, and it's only like thirty minutes into this damn movie. But she really looks dead. Oh my god. Did it taste like ketchup or like, you know, juice? Oh, oh it's sweet. Okay. I have a weird feeling. I think the one thing that I really truly like about this series, oh, okay. Um the imagery and everything about like any little moment always means something. Like once again, it is very similar to the Monogatari City series and a little bit of Monica uh Monica Magica. But different. So you telling me they saw this as kids? Cuz there's other versions of them. What the hell?
freaking lovers. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> Nana? Right? Where is everybody else? Where none now go? <laughs> It's just crazy because, you know, everyone else is celebrating for them, but for our girls, it, it's getting more and more real for them. And, you know, Excuse me. So undecided. But like, hey, you what?
But here, here my thing. Hold up. Let me go ahead and ask this. Nobody not sitting here wondering where the heck Cardin is. We just all like, yeah, let's just go with this. All them position zeros, oh my god! <laughs> and everything. Jesus. Damn, I might have to buy this movie because, woo! But I already know it's going to be expensive like Jesus. from for real um, and vegetables <laughs> oh. that tomato is so very similar like imagery wise it's very similar to like the apple of death from snow white or really the sleeping apple Oh, dang, we almost done with part one. Oh, is that the ladder? Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. It's her turn now. Because she's the only one. Hikari is the only one left! There's that damn tomato again.
just going to take it out. I know we're getting close to the end of where I have it stopping at. I got like two more minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah and possibly you know eventually they could do TV things that I wanted to do that I still want to do But still at the same time, it's like, she, she doesn't know. In a way, she kind of, I, I wouldn't say, she kind of feels trapped, but who knows? Mm-hmm. No, oh, she wants to, but that promise, she, she's like, no, I can't. I promised to her that I wouldn't look it up, so I'm not going to look her up. Okay, I mean, you know, whoa, part one, we going in. We are going in, and I, I, I hope and pray that part two and three, like, continue the roller coaster. But these first 54 minutes were brilliant. Like, my goodness, like... This is top tier. Freaking top tier. I mean, we all know the original TV series is good. But this, this is a whole next level. That fake blood, that was good. Yes, you got me there. Like, really. But I'm honestly ready to see, you know, part two and part three. But yes, go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for part two. All right, part two and three, two, one, go. Oh, it even made a position zero. Holy shit. Oh, mm, there's blood.
This is just one. Uh, this is honest. I'm Yukina talking, and I just can't too much. Exactly. You want to be equals. Mm hmm. No. They are literally giving her actress range in this. Like, oh my god. Like, <laughs> this is my baby from Bang Dream. And look how far she's come. Oh my god.
she doesn't know. Damn. And then we hold hands. Of course! Mm hmm But, because there's always a but between you two. They, they literally just did the falling scene from Kakade Goody. Oh my god. <laughs> the fan service. I can't. The love that those two just have for each other, bruh. Of course. <laughs> of course, not <Mahiru>. oh. <laughs> Recap movie, we got an eight big song. What are we going to have this time? <laughs> this is just the Olympics now. <laughs> Now's perfect. You have time.
didn't even have a chance. Damn, Mr. White. <laughs> Damn, rip Mr. White. Uh Jesus Christ. You know, see, that's kind of what I really like about Mahiru songs. They're good, but they're scary good. They're so good that, like, ooh, even, like, the terror of her saying you several times, like, oh. Oh, damn, all the cats. <laughs> <laughs> you know she's right behind you. This might be her best freaking song and just aesthetic and everything so much like girl so that Cotton could also shine by herself, right? Look at her! She looks so scary, but I love it! We're all scared of something. The future. Tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> she gave it to her like a medal. <laughs>
<laughs> the Mr. White. <laughs> She sure was, and I loved it. <laughs> it it's a Mr. White and a cat. That's cute. <laughs> So we had Kadoko and Futaba, now Mahiru, Shuna, of course. Oh, it's going to be her and Nana going against her? Okay. Nana looking like... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going to tell you the evil. Oh, Jesus. Um... Of course she cut through that like it's nothing. It, it cuz it's fucking Nana.
Not the crystal! She about to go after her, yeah. The fact that she is still trying, even though she knows in her heart, she can't defeat Nana. Like, I'm sorry. I, and I love, I love all these freaking characters. Love them with all my heart. Oh. Mm-hmm. There you go, baby! Damn.
No, no. Me too, I am getting hungry again. What's your name on there? Mm hmm. Okay, I know we're getting to the end of this part, so, you know, it's coming!
That's what I want to know. Okay. Okay, hold on. I need a little more clarity on the... So, basically, the definition of it is, like... Because he's saying, like, throwing away the joys of the ordinary, the fun of girlhood. girlhood. So, basically, is it like them growing up and moving on from... They're they're becoming adults and stuff? Is that what he means by that? Because, of course, there's a lot of unanswered questions. So, of course, I gotta watch the third part to see how this truly is gonna end. But, like, oh everything about this like once again like oh because we're, we're gonna talk about it even more in the part in part three but like oh god the singing every duet is going in i mean god even like mahiru and having like that whole mahiru song all on her she fucking did that everybody is doing that everyone has done that but yeah go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for the final part all right final part in three two one, go. Damn, we killing the giraffe, Jesus. Act one prologue.
God dang, that's some good CGI. Oh my God. Oh, that dress and the way in the shadows. Jesus. Look at her. Oh my god! Look at it! She's not done. Oh,
I say we together. I think so. God, they fucking doing this with this movie. Like, God, oh my goodness. the budget on this like oh my god <laughs> oh oh <laughs> I did not think that was going to happen. I thought it would be Maya, but like, oh, oh, That's exactly why these two are my best girls, like, short out. It's like, I can't. Oh. Alright, Hikari. Get to your girlfriend. We are almost done with this movie. We have, like, 16 minutes. How is this movie gonna end, please? Oh. We about to see that exact same thing that we saw at the beginning of this movie. No, oh, the letter.
dang, I'm like fourth wall in this right now. Like, um, You have to decide that for yourself. She can't decide that for you. Oh. Like she's re What the hell? No, I don't think it's acting this time, especially with the way we look at that right there. Is the letter going to open up and it's going to say Starlight, of course? Hey, this music though, like, oh. Really? Are we doing from the one movie I, I literally can't I, I think it's like Max Road or some shit I cannot remember the name of the movie Mm. 
webcam everything. Is that going up? <laughs> that long ass shirt. Oh my god. I cannot help, like, freaking imagine how much this mo this movie costs to make all this. Like, oh, I can't even imagine going to the movie theater seeing this and just being in that moment for this movie. Holy shit. That's beautiful. right there. Oh, well, dang, did you just look like you're kissing straight up.
I got a lot of freaking questions. I need a little more explanation. Hopefully someone has like a video essay on something. Th like this is good, but I, I need some, I got some unanswered freaking questions. Girl, how the heck is this going to end? We're like, we got four minutes left. How the heck is this going to end? Your next calling. Mm -hmm. This was good. This was good. This was fucking brilliant. They literally, this is what that whole movie was about. Straight up. Because she didn't know how she, what she was going to do after this. Not only that, plus everyone's graduating, and when you're going on into the next thing, your next stage of your life, or chapter of your life, you don't know what you want to do, and you're scared. Of course everyone's scared, I get that, and really this made me relate to when I graduated school for the first time, and how scared I was, and even now, at the age that I am, and you're still trying to find out what you want to do for the rest of your life, and go on that path and it is scary it really is but when you have people by your side and friends and family by your side there's nothing that you can do this was really good like a, a really interesting conclusion to this series i will miss this a lot terribly i do want something else if i could be a little like stingy i would really want something else with this series because this series is so damn good i mean but if this is the end for this series, honestly, I'm glad. This was a very interesting ride. I mean, to go last week to rewatch the entire show within, like, an hour or so um, in that recap movie and then to see this and to see that they're all going to move on and continue on to the things that they love, like, it makes me happy, genuinely, because I really, truly love these characters. Most of these sayings I've heard in other things and either before Revy Starlight or even after Revy Starlight and it was good. I am satisfied. Still want more, but I'm satisfied. I feel like there's like a special credit scene or something. Cause yeah, we got like a minute left so they can't just end it on like that. So there's gotta be something else. I don't know what it could be, but I mean, it could literally be anything. Um, if I had to rate, like, my fave songs, of course, like, <laughs> my girls, my best girls, Tendo, My and Claudine, that song was number one. I think number two probably has to be Mahiru's, then Nana and Juna's, um, Futaba's and, um, Katako's, then Nana's own solo at the beginning. Every song was good, like, really, really good. They really amped up the stage for this movie for them and damn like damn damn like damn man like oh god i just today right now at this time oh because she's not she's not wearing it anymore she has it on her back oh That was good. That was good. Really, really good. I mean, like, if it, if I was in the movie theater right now and I had to finish this movie, oh, I would have been standing up applauding Bravo because they really did a damn good job on this film and really went in depth on how any type of person who graduates gets that moment of, yes, I'm graduating. Like, oh, my God, I'm, you know, 
some how some people feel like I'm finally getting away from this goal and I'm moving on from the next like from this stage to the next chapter or stage in my life but then at the same time you're you're sitting there like when it gets really like set in stone for you as a person is what is next for me and, and it's like that with all of us even, like I said even me and it's okay even up until now it is okay there are a lot of people who say no it's not okay believe me it's okay it's not the end of the world even if you are like whatever age you are you still don't know what you want to do even if you have like a second coming and you're in a job or career that you love but you really wish that you kind of did something else then yeah still go for it you you have so much time like th this is literally like yolo like get that ish on do that ish like you know what Be go on that train fall in love do this do that whatever but like seriously this was good this was really really good i mean for a movie that predominantly was almost about cutting but still focused on everybody else everyone was good in this um is there anything else like i said i don't really have any bad things about it though i think it, it was just good i might have to watch it again I, I really think i might have to watch it again and instead of like cutting it down in parts like watching the whole thing from start to finish and then literally just being in that mindset but yeah i cannot imagine if i went to go see this in, in the movie theater with my mom and, and such i know my mom would be hella confused about what she watched or because it, it, it would be similar to when we went to go see Jujutsu kaisen zero my mom was up for like the first 30 minutes of the film and then she took a nap for the remainder of the film until i woke her up and be like hey the movie's done we're just waiting for the the end credit scene and then we go home and then she asks me so it was good yeah it was good it was everything i needed and more but uh, really honestly this was everything i truly needed as someone who when i did watch the show at the time and giving us the ending that we got and i was just like okay i need more and then to get the recap movie and to get a second ending but like saying oh hey you know this isn't the ending you know but this next movie that's coming out that's the true ending and it ending the way that it did i think that was really good like really really good i mean I, okay no hold on if i had if i had one little problem one teeny tiny smidget of course um once again, it's, it's of course, like, because I was expecting it, but of course, I, I am sad that it didn't happen, was having the girls from the mobile game come up into this series, and, and especially in this movie. Now, there is a possibility for if if this show ever gets, like, a season two, whatever, um, very similar to the other mobile game that is about the cute girls who all go to a school together and they fight... Um, these monsters i don't remember the name of it and such but i have watched it of course i've done a reaction on it of course um and i played the game uh in japanese for like i think a whole like good two three months and then i stopped um and if that show gets a season two i would still like to see the girls from the mobile game featured on that that's like it, it's very similar to like okay benzeri or even, I don't ask her, where you get to see, like, a little bit when you see the anime first, you get to see some of those characters, and then eventually you get to meet them in the mobile game. And Bang Dream did something like that, where even though season one was particularly popping party focused, you got to see all these other girls from both Rosalia, um, Afterglow, Hello Happy World, uh, Pastel Palette, eventually Raise the Ceiling, and now Morphonica is finally getting their two episode thing that is finally focusing on them because they were the only group that didn't get something or something like D4DJ where it's like yes D4DJ was prominently focused on Happy Around, um, Peaky Peaky and Fanta Maiden and then Little Glimmets of both Mermaid and um, Mermaid Little Kalili and Rondo and now we're getting more things with those three groups really more of Mermaid and uh, Rondo where they're I think what by the end of this month or I think two days from today, which will be the 22nd, even though this is coming out next week for <laughs> non-Patreons, um, they're going to get a an episode all about them or like a music video or something. I don't remember what it is. But, I mean, you know, it, it's always hope. I would love to see the girls from the mobile game 
specifically come into this series and eventually meet up with our girls because I think that would be really interesting. I mean, you know, Madoka Magica did that with Magical Kore, so it's like, it makes you still wonder, like, why don't you go ahead and try it? Like, I think a lot of us would want to see those girls connect, not just in the mobile game, but also in the, make it canon in the animated series. So, I mean, but yeah, that was just only my little nitpick, but this movie was really good for a, if it is the true, true conclusion of this series as a whole, once again, I am satisfied with it. It was good. Very brilliant. Everything, the cinematography, the choreograph, every little detail down to everything that this company did for this series and for this movie, like to a T, they need all the damn awards. Give them everything. Cause like Jesus, the Seiyus, y'all did freaking brilliant, brilliant 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 of course like you have my two girls from bang dream both um claudine who plays yukina and um kadoko who plays adisa and such those two did good everybody like it once again it felt like coming home with this especially and everybody was just like next level in this movie just uh the performances the singing everything like they all knew how amazing this thing, you know, this gorgeous, amazing, beautiful, flawless work of art was for them as actors and to come back to that and to return to these characters once again and to get another chance to voice some of these characters. Of course, these girls were happy. And once again, they was freaking brilliant. That's all I got to say about that. 10 out of 10 would recommend Definitely, I would literally tell anybody to watch this film because this was just too, too, too damn good. I, I really have nothing else to say about it. I mean, genuinely, just, you know, would love to see more. I'm just saying, but you know, it's a big old, who knows if it's in the cards, if it's, if it's a possibility, but you know, we just have to wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the Review Starlight movie. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for the start of the next movie series that I am watching after this. Hint, hint. It's a Magical Girl series. It's a four-part movie series that I have seen the original TV series for, but the last time I saw this, I was in middle school, so I barely really remember anything. So when I get into that, it'll be a second reintroduction just as much as the recap movie was for this series. But once again, really enjoyed it so much. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!